Oh, and it does. Grandma time. Reading out loud, guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night to you. Good. In the natural, wherever you at, on God's green earth, with the blue and the different colors in between, you know that. It's more than black and white. You can see that. For those who are colorblind, we pray you can see through all that, nothing less. And God bless you to give to those who can't give to us. See, see, everything is about you helping the next. As God cleans you and heal you and provide for you by providing for us. We all, we all have something to give to a next. You feel me? So it's, it's never, it's never us alone. It's spiritual, then the physical, okay? In Jesus' name, I need y'all to get that because we reading out loud Psalm chapter 35 and 34 for yesterday and today. P R A L M and S at the end of Psalm, depending on your holy Bible. Cook yourself and get into it on Monday, August 15th, 2022, according to the man made calendar. Not God kind of, the man-made kind of. So I need y'all to wake up and get ready, get your mouth to read out loud, get the body in position, to get that good out. Good news is God spell. Put that God spell on you and spread it to those who need it. Not to those who don't, just those who need it. That's how you know what you're doing is important. You, you got that urgency for those who need it, not those who already know. They they been edified. Thank God for that. But to those who don't, that way they can't say, oh, I didn't know. No, they knew. They just didn't check. They ain't, they ain't explored for themselves. They kept listening to other people instead of Flowing for they say. Amen. All right, let's pray and get into it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for waking us up and giving us another blessed gift called today. Just to breathe, worship, praise, uplift, and glorify your holy name and everything you come with. We don't take you for granted, Lord. I know I don't. And so I pray for those that do. You separate them from those that don't. So those that do take you for granted, we see that Jesus is Lord and Savior and that the devil is a liar. Got them all played out when they are much more worth than that if they give their life to the truth, the true living word of God the real Father of all creation. Heavenly Father, I pray that with your permission, reading out loud the Psalm chapter 35 and 34 on this, may your Holy Spirit dwell in them, correct them, chastise them, break them down and make them back up stronger than they were before this reading out loud so that they will be complete in Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, who gave his life for a lot, not for evil, but for a lot. He took what was evil and loved it, made it, broke it down to make it obey the word of God and his will and his purpose for that creation in the first place. Have your way in it by your Holy Spirit, Lord, dwell in it. We store it, reconcile it by your word, to your word, for your word, to help those who need your word. Inside them, not just around them on the outside, but hitting through the inside of their heart. So it won't be desperately wicked anymore, but tender, made flesh. Good to have a relationship with Jesus and our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, amen. And everything we pray and act for, 
may it be according to your alignment and purpose for our life to help and let them get their life saved in Jesus Christ. Nothing left. And word for word, we pray that the listening view will be hit in that dark place so that your righteousness of life will fulfill them and they won't be ashamed or embarrassed of what they experienced before up to now. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to pray this prayer, and I pray that all viewers and listeners be healed quickly, swiftly. You, Lord Jesus Christ, not, make, not wasting no time making yourself clear and visible to those who call on you and have that urgency. They can't ignore that echo and come here. Let me help you. You cannot do it on your own. We need each other. Prayers, action, and word according to our relationship with the truth. Nothing less in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Yeah. One more time. Cut. Oh, here we go again. On page 800 And my grandma does totally back. Good. Yeah, here we go. Y'all ready? All right, so we about to make this real clear. Psalm, P-S-A-L, M. P S A L M and S in the Psalm, chapter 35, depending on your Holy Bible. Right. Title in the Psalm 35, A Prayer for a Rescue from Enemies. Wow. A Prayer for a Rescue from Enemies. Title one of that, A Psalm of David. <clears throat> Y'all ready? Right, here we go. Verse 1. Plead my cause, comma, O oh Lord, comma, with them that strive with me, comma, fight against me that fight against me, period. Verse 2, take hold of shields and buckler, comma, and stand up for my help, period. Verse 3, draw out also the spirit, comma, and stop the way against them that persecute me, comma, Say unto my soul, comma, I am thy salvation, period. Verse 4, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul, Curling. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devours my hurt, period. Verse 5, let them be a chaff or chaff before the wind, Curling. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Period. Verse 6. Let their way be dark and slippery. Calling. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Period. Verse 7. For without cause have they hid from have they hid for me their net in the pit, comma, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Period. Verse 8. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, semicolon, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself, colon, into that very destruction let him fall. Period. Verse 9. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, colon, it shall rejoice in his salvation. Period. Verse 10. All my bones shall say, comma, Lord, comma, who is like unto it, comma, which delivereth the poor from him, that is, that is too strong for him, comma, yea, comma, the poor and the needy, from him that spoileth him. Question mark. Verse 11. First witnesses, first witnesses did rise there, semicolon. They laid to my charge things that I knew not, period. Verse 12. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul, period. Verse 13. But as for me, comma, when they were sick, 
coming. My clothing was sackcloth. <clears throat> I humbled my soul with fasting, semicolon, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. Period. Bosom or bosom. Verse 14. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. Curly. I bowed down heavily, come, as one that morning for his mercy. Period. Verse 15. But in my adversity, they rejoiced, come, and gathered themselves together, come, yeah, come. The abject gathered themselves together against me, come, and I knew it not. Semicolon. They did tell me, come, and seized not, come. Verse 16. With hypocritical markers and fear, come, they gnash upon me with their teeth. Period. Verse 17. Lord, comma, how long will thou look on? Question mark. Rescue my soul from their destruction, comma, my darling from the loon. Period. Verse 18. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation, curtain. I will praise thee among much people. Period. Verse 19, let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, Colin. neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. Period. Verse 20, 20, for they speak not peace, Colin. but they divide deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Period. Verse 21, yeah, comma, they opened their mouth wide against me, comma, and said, comma, aha, comma, aha, comma, our eye has seen it, period. Verse 22, this thou hast seen, comma, O oh Lord, curling, keep not silent, curling, O oh Lord, comma, be not far from me, period. Verse 23, Third up thyself, comma, and awake to my judgment, comma, even unto my cards, comma, my God and my Lord, period. Verse 24, Judgment, comma, O Lord my God, comma, according to thy righteousness, semicolon, and let them not rejoice over me, period. Verse 25, let them not say in their hearts, comma, ah, comma, so will we have it, curly. Let them not say, comma, we have swallowed them up, period. Verse 26, let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt, curly. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me, period. Verse 27, let them shout for joy, comma, and be glad, comma, that favor my righteous cause, curling, yeah, comma, let them say continually, comma, let the Lord be magnified, comma, with which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, period. Let me repeat that. Verse 27, let them shout for joy, comma, and be glad, comma, that favor my righteous cause, curly. The stomach grinding. I was sorry about that. Yeah, comma, let them say continually, comma, let the Lord be magnified, comma, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, period. So you want prosperity in being a servant, not just prosperity and stuff. Now you want to be, man, you can get to that. Verse 28, and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long, night, morning, too. And just, man, period. And that is the end of Psalm chapter 35. Good. Oh, and the last one. Grandma is not playing. Y'all be going to hear me read tomorrow. 
The Holy Spirit said right now, okay? So put the gun down before you get gunned down with your own gun. Right now, yeah, we not playing, bro. We not playing out here. Yeah, I know it's that. All right, so put the weapons of mass destruction and evil wickedness away. All you're going to do is hurt yourself, not the person you're trying to get to. God is not having that. He loves y'all. Stop. Stop doing dumb. Man, come on, man. You can do bad, man. All right, so that's we Psalm chapter 34. P-S-A-L-M. And S at the end of the time, depending on your holy back. So, hold on. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father. We come to you humbly, but boldly, one more time, to partake of your goodness, of this heavenly fit. So finger licking good, good for just the body, mind, soul, spirit, against our enemy coming to work. You teach us how to be loving and kind, to defeat them quickly, before they get closely to us physically. Your Holy Spirit equipped us mentally with your wisdom and knowledge and how to apply it correctly by the reading of your word out loud. Thank you for this opportunity to read your word out loud so that the viewers and listeners will be healed completely in Jesus Christ as, his, as their Lord and Savior over their life. And that the devil is a liar and he has no place, memorial day, do or touch near your creation ever again. Please be glorified in every way read and spoken so the listening of you will draw closely to you, be inspired, motivated, uplifted, and most of all, loving, kind, felt in it for them to continue to be loving and kind going forward in the future, every breath, and every heartbeat, and every step, and every organ function in this body, in every step, and every action, you bless us to work in. May you get the glory out of it. And those who don't know you will come to know you and cling to you and keep you as you have kept us first because you loved us first when we don't even know love without you first. Lord Jesus. Father God, thank you for the opportunity to pray this prayer word for word out loud in Psalm 34 and that the listening of you will be equipped, fulfilled with unspeakable joy and share and spread your gospel to those around you and you be a thought in all your holy kingdom flowing from the inside out nothing less in Jesus name. We thank you Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Cook it up. Psalm. P-S-A-L-M. Psalm chapter 34. From yesterday reading. Sorry about that. So, the title is, The Lord Hears the Righteous. Okay, The Lord Hears the Righteous. Title under that, A Psalm of David, comma, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, Simicon, who drove him away, comma, and he departed. Oh, y'all ready on page 880? Grandma Dorothy, Burgundy, Holy Bible. Good. Here we go. Let's go. Verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all time, Colin. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Period. Verse 2. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. Come. The humble shall hear thereof. Come. And be glad. Period. Verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come. And let us exalt his name to God. Period. Verse 4. I thought the Lord. Karma, and he heard me, karma, and delivered me from all my fears. Period. Verse 5. They looked unto him, karma, and were lightened, karma, 
and their faces were not ashamed. Period. Verse 6. This poor man cried, comma, and the Lord heard him, comma, and saved him out of all his troubles. Period. Verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him, comma, and delivered them. Period. Verse 8. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, Curling, Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Period. Verse 9. O oh, fear the Lord, comma, yea, his saint, Curling, For there is no one to them that fear him. Period. Verse 10. The young lion do lack, comma, and suffer hunger, Curling, But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Period. Verse 11. Come, ye, come, come, ye, children, come, ye, hearken unto me, come, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Period. Verse 12. What man is he that desireth life, come, and loveth many days, come, that he may see good? Question mark. Verse 13. Keep thy tongue from evil. Comma, and thy lips from speaking God. Period. Verse 14. Depart from evil, comma, and do good. Semicolon. Seek peace, comma, and pursue. Period. That's my favorite scripture right there. Verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, comma, and his ears are open unto their cry. Period. Verse 16, the faith of the Lord is against them that do evil, comma, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth, period. Verse 17, stomach rattling, sorry about that. Verse 17, the righteous cry, comma, and the Lord hear, comma, and delivers them out of all their trap, period. Verse 18. The Lord is not unto them that are with broken heart, semicolon, and save such as be of a contrite spirit. Period. Why? Verse 19. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of, out of them all. Period. Verse 20. He keepeth all his bones. Curly. Not one of them is broken. Period. That was a verse I was looking for. Right there. Let me repeat that. Verse 19 and 20. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Curly. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. Period. Verse 20. He keepeth all his bones. Curly. Not one of them is broken. Period. Verse 21. Evil shall slay the wicked, calling, and they that hate the righteous shall be dastardly. Period. Verse 22. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servant, calling, and none of them that trust in him shall be dastardly. Period. Let me repeat that. Verse 22. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servant. Curly, and none of them that trust in him shall be dusted. Period. So if you're a soldier, if you're a servant, if you're a humble, large creature of the Lord that just got saved and made Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, you got to go. Be equipped, which is reading out loud of wisdom and knowledge. Most of all, are loud. Compassionate love that goes through any evil, wicked thing trying to stop it and it's perfect. God got your back. Just keep inviting them in by the Holy Spirit dwelling in it, reminding you to listen to his word and will so you can walk out your purpose and helping those who don't know their purpose. Simple. Put the guns down, put the holy Bible in. Cookies up.
And just play, man. Wait a minute. Thank you, love, for that. That food was good. Amen. Yeah. I love y'all. Get a line. Peace. If it ain't peace, you ain't gonna make it. I'm gonna tell you right now. All that faking, you think you good at being bad? You were born bad. You were born in sin, shaped in iniquity, needing God first. So sing them hymns, sing them songs. Get it in there so you can get rid of the evil and wickedness and focus on your goodness that God bless you with. You ain't even know about it. You ain't even know about it because you were chasing the wrong thing. Now that you know the truth, chase the Holy Spirit, taking care of the inside, flowing out of you. So God will get his glory and your desires will be met, kept, and continue with your heavenly Father, nothing less in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God for everything. Amen again. In Jesus' name. Okay. And another. Right.